Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? What's up, Josh? Yeah, I'm getting, this is for you. Or anyone on the team. The Premium Plus is good. Feels great. But if the item that, if the design that you're making and on the image is thin, like legs on an ant, or not the main wing on a fly, but the little small little wing, you know, the little little small little detail wings. If they come off the, the paper, it's it's a bitch to get it back on. You can't get it back on because it curls it curls up. It curls up because it's so thin, it curls up. There's no weight to it. Like right now, I messed up on a fly because the wings itself, when I, I the wing came with the big wing, of course, it does the big one. Perfect. But when it comes to that little thin, thin ones, it doesn't do it right. Especially long and thin ones and stuff like that don't do it right up on there because some of them might come out, but if it doesn't come out on top of there, then it's a bitch. If it come out obviously on the paper, then it's no problem. Obviously, it's, that's perfect. But if it do come off, it's a bitch to get back on. You, I, I, ch I challenge anybody to get that back on. It's, a, it's real hard. And right now, I'm trying to hold it down and then put a little tape and then try to put it back on my heat press to try to. Hopefully, it can you know, stay on for a while and stick back on to the thing. But since it's not sticky, like you said on the video, it really don't hold. You know what I mean? So, it's really a, a bitch right now. So, I'm about to try to do the fly on the, the little small wing. I'm going to use one of the other ones. I like glitter. Glitter, glitter flake. I really love glitter flake, flakes. You know, I really love that. That one is nice. Glitter flakes is nice. I just don't know when it wash up. Is it gonna be all over the, you know, all over the shirt? Don't know that yet. Especially now, like I, I got I bought a green one, and I want to know if I put the wing gold with the green gold. I mean the green gold and um in the um what you call it, the um, the gold um one. I mean it's the green gold, the green one and the gold one. Will it you know mess up with each other? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cause right now I got it all green, glitter. And I'm thinking now, if I put the gold wings, the little detail wings, put the gold one on there, and put the whole thing on there, would it mess up in the wash? You know what I mean? Would they? Would it be like when I wash, when I look at the shirt again, on the on, on the green glitter, it has some gold glitter on it. So I, that, those are the things I would like to know up on it. Also, um, flock, like I put up on it, flock is a nice one, but if if you fit the shirt, like really fit the shirt, then it's going to be a problem because we starting to notice that it, it cracks. It's like the person got to be skinny. I'm a skinny dude. Like, you know, I'm skinny. You know what I'm saying? So with me, when I put on the shirt, it don't crack because I don't fill up the shirt like that. I ain't wearing no tight shirt like that, you know what I mean, for it to be doing that. But if I had on one like a real tight shirt and then I try to put it on, then, you know what I mean, it's going to crack. You know what I mean, it cracked on my girl the other day up on there. I mean, you can still wear it up on it, but, you know, if you did it for a customer, you know what I mean, that, 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 that wouldn't, you wouldn't really want that. So right now I'm using it as, like, uh, underneath. And then I put something on top of it. Or since I learned, now I just let the people know, like, oh, listen, if you a form-fitting, if you form-fitting the shirt, then this, then I can't, I wouldn't do flock for you. But if it's, you know, if you if the shirt is loose, then, yeah, flock is cool. But don't stretch it. Don't sit there and keep trying to pull it and showing people the name, you know, whatever the design is. Just hold on. But don't be pulling it, pulling it, because it will crack. And I don't know, maybe when you start to wash it, will that settle the crack in business? But that's what y'all need to look into to make flock more stretchable. If you can make that more stretchable, that would be hot. I don't know if that other flock one that's the premier one is more a little expensive. So I don't know, you know, a little $15, $20 different, I think it is. I don't know if that one is stretchable, you know what I mean? But the regular flock, that cracks. So, you know, we got to try to fix that right there, you know what I mean? I like it, though, but, you know what I mean, with the cracks, up like I said, when you got customers, but, you know, if you get lucky to even get a customer, you don't even want that. And like everybody, they, they want to strive for perfection. They don't want to give nobody nothing problems. You know, give them a shirt with, and then next thing you know, you got problems. 
know what I mean? So I would like to know, like, the, how the flake, when you wash it, how's it going to come out? I'm going to do my own little research regardless and do it. But, you know, I would like to know from your point of view, you know what I mean, how the glitter, you know, glitter flake work. And I don't have this shit. And I'm, be, I'm stressed out. So my words... You know what I mean? I'm going through all kinds of shit. So my words are probably slur. I probably think I don't give a fuck. I ain't. I don't know how to edit. Nor am I going to sit there and try to edit. I don't give two fucks about it. To tell you the truth, I really don't. I'm just getting the point across. You know, point. A good customer and they're good people. I had no problem with them. I like stalls. You know what I mean? Recommend y'all go to them. And you know what I mean? Maybe all the little things that we see that's messed up. Maybe we can fix those so we can have it perfect so we don't have no problem because. <clears throat> using the printer is garbage because unless you can go ahead and contour cut which I learned on a little like rolling gotta be a expensive rolling machine to do that one if not these ones that claiming they do it if they don't got that eye that laser eye I don't see how the hell they can do it so mine's ain't working up on, on my on CK or whatever S S E I K I so whatever way you say that that's the one I got but you know otherwise that's alright but yeah I like, I like, I, I really like the thing with the ink, man. But like everybody know, to get the machine to put the um, the, the shirt underneath, that's 15 G's, which you know, I you know, I can't deal with that. I, I ain't Oprah, I ain't got no money like that. I ain't P, so you know, I can't do that. But um, the other way with the screen printing, I think I'm gonna start doing that. Maybe try to learn it. But I like the way uh, the Premium Plus feel, kind of feel a little bit like when you be buying the shirt. Sometime, you know what I mean. You be feeling they, you know, whatever design, whatever material they use, it kind of feel like it actually was on the shirt itself. But you know already, the shirt must have been plain, and then they put the design on. But sometimes it feels so nice, feel like that's just part of the shirt. You know what I mean? So I, I think Premium Plus kind of feel that way. I'm not gonna lie, because you know I bought the metallic gold one. I got metallic gold. That kind of feel like, you know, what I mean, you just put it on there, like you feel like if you keep playing with it, you could probably rip it off, but. I would tell people don't do that. I mean, it ain't gonna fall off to me if you don't mess with it. So I don't think it's never gonna fall off. I'm gonna wash it down the line anyway. But and another thing, man, which I would really be cool too, man. A lot of people like to dry clean clothes. So if you can make it where you can take it to the dry cleaners, it'll even be even better because you know, to me, putting clothes in a washing machine destroy clothes. So if it works with it, then that's cool. But to me. If this is one of my dopest shirts and stuff or dopest clothes, I ain't putting it in the washing machine. I'm going to put it in the cleaner. So, to me, y'all need to try to find a way how to make it where it can deal with that type of whatever process they use over there. I don't know what process they use in dry cleaning, but whatever the process is, if y'all use that, that would be dope. That's what my customer's saying that. So, you know what I mean? Down the line, whatever, get the vendors to try to get up on that. You know what I mean? Otherwise, that piece. Respect to everybody out there. Keep doing your thing. Making whatever you want to make. Do what you got to do. Up on there, make some more videos. You know, I used to not want to do certain things, but I'm putting myself and get some videos going on because um, I like to talk about some other stuff up on there, man. I'll limit it with the vinyl cutters, man. That you only can do certain things. So they're just numbers and letters and little bit of designs like you gotta buy design vector and all that stuff man which software to you is the best software I got win PC sign pro I give it ah I give it man I give it all okay you know what I mean maybe like a seven seven or something up on there I don't know if people are saying corridor I don't know which one got more clip arts that you can go ahead and mess with and that's what it looked like that's the only way you could do it you know what I mean from get because if you got something from the computer Nine out of ten times you try to vectorize it, at least with me with the Win PC sign pro, it don't work. So you might get one design out of like ten that might work. So obviously that ain't that's not where it's at. You know, I get tiresome after a while I keep doing that. So it looked like clip arts. So I you know I, obviously I guess you gotta buy the stuff whoever got the clip arts, you gotta buy those that's already vectorized so you can work it. So I like to know, you know, which one y'all dealing with up on there. What's the best thing? Corridor. I mean, you know, clip arts they got, you know what I mean, towards Winpin Win um Win PC sign two thousand and ten pro. You know what I mean? Maybe do a comparison or whatever. 
up on it because to me, um, when PC sign is cool, but they don't give a lot of clip off it. You know, they, now they got a thing where you can get and spend a little money. But you know what I mean? I'm a guy and deal with it anyway because to me, you ain't got no choice. You know, I have to go ahead and buy more clip arts because to me, whatever's on there, after a while, just so many times you can keep doing that. You know what I mean? I mean, if you got a lot of customers, obviously you can put a lot of people saying on it and that's where that would be nice. But to me, it would have been dope if you can do designs and stuff like that. That's where I wish I had the money to go ahead and do, you know what I mean, like where you can go and get the printer, you know what I mean, the, the, the garment printer, and you can put the garment through and I... I would love that, you know what I mean? But that, they make that too much money. But that's another story. And rhinestones and all that, too, I want to get into also. I was messing with that, then I put that back on the back burner, man. I'm one of those Ralph Cramden, Fred Frenchstone type motherfuckers. If you understand what that is, that's one of the motherfuckers that get a bright idea every fucking minute, and he just venture out for it. So one love to all those type of motherfuckers out there. And fuck off to them Chinese motherfuckers, not Chinese people, Fuck off to them shiny motherfuckers that did that bullshit to me. They used to be on Abba Baba um, nonsense shit. I would never mess with that. Even with PayPal, I would never mess with it. PayPal, too, if it ain't when it's on eBay, they don't help you barely at all. You're real. I'm telling you, I done lost money with that shit. So believe me, they'll help you if you're in that little window. But if you pass that window, like if it's 90 days and you pass that 90 day and it's like 91 or whatever the thing is, you will get fucked. Believe me, and even with that window, sometimes believe me, they down with eBay's. That's eBay's baby. So to me, unless it's really with the eBay thing, I wouldn't even put all my faith into that. Y'all Chinese dudes out there, man, the the, the underground ones, y'all kind of fucked that up to me, man. The way y'all be cheating, motherfucker. I lost a lot of money with y'all motherfuckers. A lot of money, and lost a lot of money too with y with the African dudes up there in fucking Britain that. Took my fucking money, making me stupid. I look stupid doing stupid shit. I got money off me back in the days with them iPhones being too truthful, thinking it was true and it wasn't. And I wind up sending y'all money. So y'all got me, you faggot motherfuckers. I lost a thousand and change to you dumb motherfuckers. Thousand six hundred to be exact. Fucking assholes. Watch out for all these scams out there also. One love to everybody. Peace.